Hey class, Mr. Hart here. So in this uh, recording I want to look at the graphing homework and I've just written up an example problem here. Um, the example is for like a ball falling from a building and we look at the time and we look at how far it's fallen in that given time. So we got the time right here and the position right there. And so we have time on the x-axis in our graph and we have position on the y-axis in our graph. And so I've set up the graph here, and so all we're going to do is just take each point one by one and graph them. So we got 0.5 seconds at 1.225 meters. So we go to our graph, 0.5 seconds, 1.225 meters is going to be pretty small, so I'll just draw a point right there, okay? At one second, we're at 4.9 meters, which is right about here, okay? At 1.2 seconds, we're at 7.056, so that's about right here, okay? And then at 2.1 seconds, we're at 21.61, so that's about right there. Now my distance isn't perfect between these guys, but um, hopefully it's close. 2.4 seconds, we're at 28.22. So let's see, that would be about there. And then at 3.0 seconds, we're at 44.1, which is about there. Okay. And hopefully you can see pretty clearly that this is behaving quadratically, okay? So this would be a quadratic relationship, okay? Or in other words, one way to write it is, obviously we can just say this is quadratic, okay? Quadratic. Or we could say that uh, y, or our position, however you want to say it, is related to t squared, okay? Or proportional to t squared, okay? Now that shows quadratic relationship, but a common practice we do in physics, and especially in AP physics for this class, is if we see a quadratic relationship, it's common for people to um, actually take the time squared and plot it against y. Okay, so down here on this graph, I've actually taken time and squared it and calculated this value. And when we do that, we can actually linearize, okay, that's the word we use to describe it, linearize the function, okay, or the graph. So now what we're going to do is um, we're going to use the same increments on the position, okay, starting at zero meters down here, going up by five meters at each spot, but now we're going to go by the time squared, so our scale is going to be switched a little bit. So we're going up to 10, so it looks like I'm going to have to go, uh, let's see, one second, two second, three second, four second, five second, six second, seven second, eight second, nine second, ten second. Okay. So notice that the um, thing I'm plotting now is time squared and the units are actually changed, which is a little weird. But notice what happens when we plot this. Okay. So we start at zero seconds here, one second there. Then we plot each point versus time squared. Then we get a linearized function. So 0.25 second squared compared to 1.225 meters. So that's just down here. It's kind of hard to tell exactly where we'll be at, but it'll be about right here, right near the origin. At one second, we're at one second squared and we're at about five meters, okay? At 1.2 seconds, we're actually at 1.44 seconds squared, and we're at that seven meters, which is about right here, okay? Then at 2.1, we're at 4.4, for one seconds, we're at 21.6, so that's going to be about right there. Did I do that right? Oops, sorry. Should be a little bit lower. About there. Okay. And then at 5.76 seconds, or at 5.76 seconds squared, we're at 28, which is about right there. And then at 9 seconds squared, we're at the 44.1, which is up here, okay? So now notice what happened. Our quadratic function, okay, became a linear line of best fit, okay? Now my graph wasn't perfect. These aren't perfect increments, but now we can easily see that this was a quadratic relationship, okay? So that's a common practice you will do in physics is taking quadratic and inversely related things and stuff like that and then plotting them against these new uh, relationships. We'll square them, we'll invert them, whatever we need to do, and then we can linearize the graph and show the uh, relation is there, okay?
So I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Uh, thank you for listening.